I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm very appreciative of the time that you have made to join this broadcast. And I'd like to extend my gratitude to the leaders of the church for offering me this opportunity to come and share the word with all the saints and everyone that has joined in the broadcast. I'd like to just, before we continue, you know, just um, appreciate God and thank God for this time that he has given us. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are thankful for the grace of life. We are thankful for this time that you have allowed us to have so that we can come and share in your word, so that we can come and get guidance, so that we can come and consult of your word in the mighty name of Jesus, so that we can have light in our lives, so that we can know what needs to be done. Father God, we are gathered here to share and hear what you have to say for our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we pray, we are trusting and believing that God, surely, you will help us understand what your will is. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone that has made the time to come and join in this broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, so today, today's title um, is consultation time, as you can see. Um, I thought it was very important, especially in the time that we are in, um, to, to, to talk about consultation. Um, uh, in this case, consulting God. Consulting God as we are in a time of a revival where we are coming from perhaps a pandemic and then I thought it is very important as I was praying to, to, to also revive the time that we spend in consultation. I mean, consultation is something that we do almost daily, especially um, in our professions, uh, in our daily lives. I mean, going to doctors to consult is something that we do because we are seeking for guidance. And there's something very practical um, that we saw in, 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 in during the dire times is when uh, uh, leaders of countries were consulting with experts in terms of all, in terms of the way going forward um, during the pandemic because they knew that consultation is very important so that the right decisions or rather light to be shared in terms of going on forward. So now I'm talking about the consultation in the kingdom of God. We are living in a kingdom of God where how things should be done are known by God himself. The offer of our lives. Hence now we need to consult him to understand how things should be done. He's the expert of our lives. We need to consult him to understand what we need to do in order to to move in forward smoothly. Amen. So as I'm saying that the word of God today is to emphasize the time spent in consulting in God with regards to the way forward. The word of God even says in the book of Psalms 119, 105, it says, your word is a light to my feet. Your word is a light to my feet, meaning that the word is a place where we need to consult so that we can have light in terms of where we are going. When you're walking on the street and it's dark, there's no light, you are not sure where you're going. You're just second guessing where you are going. But then when you have a light, you know exactly, you can even see before you reach certain destinations where you are going, the steps that you need to get. And in this case, the word of God is a place where we need to consult so that we can be able to know the steps that we need to take on going forward, whether it is for just our personal life or whether it is for the church, whether it is for the government in the church. For example, when we do our church programs, when we do our events, when we conduct prayer times, prayer sessions, whatever the case may be, consultation is important. It's time spent in understanding what God wants for the church, what God wants for your personal life, it will help in us take Taking the right steps without wasting time. So it is important that we consult, we spend time in consulting God. 
about his kingdom. This is, God, this is God's kingdom and not our own kingdom. Hence, for the Bible says, that, seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and everything that you need shall follow you. So it is important to seek what makes God to be God himself. So that the Bible says, as the Bible says, sorry, it says that be holy because he is holy. That, is, that comes with consultation, spending time with God, inquiring of God what he requires. I'm just going to read a word from Proverbs 15, verse 22. It says, without consultation, plans are frustrated. You know, we plan a lot of things. We, we plan events to go like this. We plan our lives. Uh, in this time, I need to be here. And then sometimes they could be so frustrating. Here is an answer. Here is some light. Proverbs 15, 22 says, without consultation, plans are frustrated. But with many counselors, they succeed. Amen. So it is very, very important that we spend time in consulting, inquiring of God. God, what is it that you want for my life? God, what is it that you want for the church? You know, we, we, we come from, 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 I will mention this again, we are coming from a pandemic where we felt the church being really, really, really put at a corner. The, the leaders were consulting experts. The leaders were consulting, and it felt as if the church was the last entity to consult. Whereas we are serving a God that has the answers to everything, the creator of the heavens and earth. So now we need to, to as we are in a time of revival, we need to to. to, to Go forth to God to consult and say, God, we tried this before. A pandemic came. This and this came. By God's grace, we were not taken down. But yet, we are shaken. But we were not taken down. It means that there is still time to spend with God to understand. Now, how do, we, how do we revive the church? Now, how do we restore the church? Now, how do we reestablish the purpose that you have for us here on earth? Amen. Now, how do we reestablish that? This is a prayer. This is done in consulting God. Like I said, the purpose of consultation is to promote understanding between a leader and their people, a company and the employees, so that the company can grow, or so maybe the company can be in a place where it needs to be. But that is done via consultation to understand what is happening from ground level, from intermediate level, to this positions where people are, we need to understand first via consultation. A lot of things that are happening in our lives, we do not understand. And it makes us, according to Proverbs, frustrated. But if we make time to consult, another man says, he says that, um, uh, John C. Maxwell, he says that you have to spend time with God, or we have to spend time with God's people to know what their problem is or their problems are. And then you have to spend time with God to know how to solve their problems. I'm just going to repeat it again. You, ha you need to spend time with the people to understand what their problems are. And also you need to spend time with God to know how to solve their problems. So it is very important that as we live our lives to make time to consult with God, the creator of heaven and earth, in terms of what we need to do. Your mornings, our mornings, my mornings need to start with consulting because that will set the tone of the rest of the day. Another man says that his mornings are for God, his afternoons are for people, and his evenings are for family. If we can also try to apply, apply the same thing, when we start with God, the way you relate with people during the course of the day will be proper. The way with you, you are with your family in the evening will be proper because we started with consulting with God. Amen. Proverbs 20 verse 18 says that, prepare plans by consultation and make your war by wise guidance. We are fighting constantly. We are, we are trying to be better in life. We are, we, are, we are in the kingdom of God. We are fighting against principalities. But if we don't understand how we need to fight them, 
it will not be a wise war that we are fighting. So we need to spend time in consultation. I'm just going to read a few points that are very vital in terms of or the fruits that will come out when we spend time with God, consulting what he requires for us as a church, as individuals, as a country, as a planet. We need to know what God should happen in the next five years, what's going to happen in the next 10 years, what should we do currently as we are living on this planet, we need to spend time with God consulting. Point number one, one of the things that we desire as Christians, uh, uh, as children of God, is to have deeper relationships with God or a deeper relationship with God. And that requires time. And that requires a lot of time. And if we don't spend time, the relationship will be shallow. When we, 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 when we just rush the relationship or the time that we spend with God, it will not be as deep as we require or we desire for it to be. Because consultation is very important. Consultation time or the amount of time spent in consultation will determine the depth of the problem solved or will determine the reduction of margin of the error margin will 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 will, de, de, will will reflect much on the ways that we do to be may, more proper the word of god in isaiah 2 verse 3 if i can remember i will just read it from here it says many people will come and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his paths. And that is the cry that we need right now as Christians, as people that have a God, the God of Israel, the God that has created the heavens and earth. As we are living this Christian life, as we are living here on earth, we need to be like the Israelites or the people that Isaiah mentions here. Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord so that we may learn his ways. We need to spend time learning his ways. We need to consult. Our consultation time needs to be extended more so that we may be able to understand how things should be. Amen. So if we want a deeper relationship with God, we need to spend time with him. Because if we don't spend time, the relationship would be shallow, will be easily shaken. We know how the pandemic has affected many that are, that many that believed were Christians. Because the relationship perhaps were not as deep as they were. And this is done by consultation. The word of God says, your word is a lamp to my feet. The ways to be seen, it is by consulting in the word of God. Number two, we want better work in the kingdom of God. We want things to be done properly. But if we don't spend time consulting in God on how they should be done, we are stealing ourselves. We are stealing from ourselves the opportunity of excellence. The excellence that we require in the kingdom of God is stolen by the little time we spend consulting with God, inquiring of God, inquiring in God, spending in prayer. So we need to, as a people, Whatever we plan to do, whether it be ministry, evangelizing, uh, going out and, and, and spreading forth the word, it is important to understand and consult of God. God, is, is, is what I'm doing what you require me to do? It is very, very, very important that we consult God to understand what his will is for our lives at that particular point. Amen. And what we need to do in the church, what we need to do in the kingdom of God, what we need to do in our lives. Amen. Point number three. We have or we have a duty as Christians to serve. Whether to serve in the church, whether to serve the needy, or whether to serve wherever we need to serve, it is our duty. But we tend to, we tend to brush off the needs of people 
because of how we don't spend time consulting with God on how to resolve their problems. When we are living a fast Christian life where we're just doing things fast because, look, we do have things to do, which is very understandable. But at the same time, we need to spend time with God to know how to do these things. And right now as a church, as we are in the, in, 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 in the space of revival, of restoration, we need to also equate that in spending time or cons- in, in, in consultation. As you can hear, I've been st- stressing time, consultation, inquiring. It is important because this is not our kingdom. This is God's kingdom. He is our king. He knows what needs to be done. Henceforth, we need to consult him. It is very important. I'll read another scripture from the book of Judges 18, 5 to 6. It said, they say to him, okay, maybe to bring, to, 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 to put context, this are the Danites, uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the tribe of, 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 of Israel. We need to understand that there was a time when now um, they were seeking inheritance. They were going around seeking for a place where they can live in. And as spies were sent to go and see the land, the spies came across, came across uh, a priest, a Levite. And this is what they said, where it starts from 18 verse 5. It says, they say to him, inquire of God, please, that we may know whether our way on which we are going will be prosperous. This is what they said, inquire of the Lord for us, consult of the Lord, so that we may understand, so that we can be sure that the ways that we are going will be prosperous. Where we are going, will it be right? Right now as a church, as a ministry, as, 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 as a person personally, you might be in a position where you are re, 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 refiguring your life, where you, you, you want to go a certain direction. Now it is the best time to consult with God. It is the best time to, to, to stand a bit and go like, God, what is it that you want for my life? Which direction should I take? Which direction should I take? So it is very important, saints, I cannot stress, just like um, the Danites here, they consulted, and the Bible as it continues says, then the priest said to them, go in peace. Your way in which you are going has the Lord's approval. Has the Lord's approval. You, you know, when you go to consult the doctor and, 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 and he tells you, or you rather ask, should, should I take this medication? Uh, uh, should, should I take uh, this and that? You wait for the doctor's approval. And by the doctor's approval, you start using the doctor's instruction. Like, as I say, the government consulted experts. Under the approval of the experts, then the leaders were able to relate or, 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 or tell us what is the way forward. Amen. So it is very important that as Christians, right now we are living a life. We have been adopted. We are now God's people. And then we need to consult God on which way we need to take on moving forward. This evening, as you are listening to this message, I plea and I pray that we have an earnest heart ready to, 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 to get a way forward, ready to, 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 to understand what God wants for us, ready to yield to God and ask him, God, what is the prescription of this way that I want to take? What is the direction you need to give me? What is the direction I need to take to move on forward? This is your body. Romans 12, we all know the scripture. Present your bodies as living sacrifices, dead to the things of this world, but alive in Christ. Then hence, if we are alive in Christ, then we need to consult with God. How do we live this life? Many are the plans of men. I cannot continue emphasizing this. You've heard, I'm sure you've heard, this message is just about time, 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 consultation. Because this is what is required for us to live a full, impactful Christian life. 
a full divine life, the life that God has planned for us, this is what we require to do, to consult. And I'm praying in the mighty name of Jesus that as you have listened to this word, as you've understood this word, as you have received this word, that we will make time to consult as a church, as a ministry leader, as an individual, as a Christian. I'm praying that you make time to consult because it is important in walking forward effectively, precisely, with precision, with understanding, walking in purpose. Your word is a light to my feet. And that light is the word itself. As it says, when we consult in the word, we will have light in terms of where we need to go. And that is my message tonight to everyone that is listening, that let us make time to consult our father because he has plans for us to prosper us. But if we don't consult, what are those plans we will be frustrated. And I'm praying that this year, we will never be frustrated again because we will be consulting of God. I want us to pray on that note. We are praying to God that God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we present our bodies, we present ourselves, we present our plans, we present our lives unto you, God. We are consulting. We are coming to consult. Guide us in the mighty name of Jesus as we are in a point of revival, rest, restoration, reestablishment. God, what is it that you want us to do? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying that this time your word will grow in us. Your word will be a light. Your word will be a point where we will always consult because you are the author of our lives. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, everyone that has listened, I am praying that they will consult you early in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. You will be the point of refuge, the place where they run to for answers so that they can live the full potential that you have made for them here on earth in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Thank you so much for making time to tune in and listen for today's word. I pray that God blesses your lives. I pray that God becomes the point of consultation with whatever you're going through right now. As you are going through the things that you are going through in Jesus' name, consult God right now and you will see the frustration will go away. Everything that will that is surrounded with doubt, if you're surrounded with doubt, now that's about to change because you're consulting with your creator, you're consulting with your author. In the mighty name of Jesus, be blessed. Thank you so much.